Hi YouTube, this is Jake Chasen here, and today we'll be demonstrating the new Apple Music for Mac OS Sierra. So let's get started. So let's demonstrate that we actually have Mac OS Sierra installed, which as you can see right here in System Information, we do. So now let's get started by clicking on iTunes. We'll accept the software license agreement. And then we'll agree. So as you can see here, this is version 12.5. 12.4 is the one that's publicly released right now. So here's Apple Music. It says we can get three free months. We're already members. What's interesting here on the Apple Music For You page is that there's no button to log in. I would expect a button because I'm already a paid subscriber to allow me to log in because when I click get free three months just trying to log in it shows here that there's really no place to log in. Then I'm going to have to go to the iTunes store and log back in. So I've just signed in to the iTunes store. As you can see, it's now accessing. We'll be able to see if Apple Music will update the For You tab. It looks like it didn't automatically update. So when I click For You, again, it did update. And now we can see we also have this news or interface that we kind of saw on the iPad, which was those big headings and then the tabs. So here's the music that it recommends. I'm not quite sure what this icon here of the microphone does because when I click on it, it doesn't appear to do anything right now. Connect is integrated right into the For You tab. Connect used to have its own tab, and social networking in iTunes has always been kind of a secondary product, it appears. I mean, they started off with Ping way back in the day, and they've kind of been evolving it now with Connect. It doesn't seem to be cohesively integrated into their software, which is evident by the way that you have to click For You, then you're brought to Recommendations, and then you have to click Connect. Let's go to Browse. So as you can see here, it's more like the iPhone with the big font. You see much, much bigger user interface icons. I'm not quite sure if the tabs are useful being that big. I'm not quite sure about the margins because typically on Apple products everything is uniform and it's kind of a form and a function type of thing. And I'm not quite sure how the form and function fit together with this new user interface, but possibly people will like it because it kind of makes it fresh to compete with other services like Spotify. So we go to new music, curated playlist, top charts, genres, that kind of thing. When we go to the radio page, you also see that radio has been redesigned. Radio has not seen a major redesign since iTunes Radio was initially launched uh, back in the days of iOS 7 in 2013. Now radio has seen a substantial refresh. As you can see here, we have that new Apple Music user interface. Beats 1 has its own tab. And here are all the radio stations. And we can scroll through them. They automatically scroll. When I scroll too far, it seems like it goes off the end of the page and it has to come back. That might be a bug or that might be some kind of feature. When we go to stations, we can see the same large tiles, and down here we see more traditional smaller tiles. But again, typically the image and the title of the tile would be together to conserve space because you'd be able to jam in many more uh, stations into here. Right now, as you can see, we can only see about nine of the stations uh, when there are many more stations. So what it's doing is, although it does have a new user interface, I'm not sure that it's easier to actually use, but time will tell. When we go to the iTunes Store tab, you can see that not much has actually changed in the interface of the iTunes Store. What's also interesting is that Apple elected to leave this user interface item that they brought into iTunes 12.4, and that was this drop-down menu that lets you select music, movies, and TV shows. This kind of drop-down menu is kind of interesting because it seems like it adds an extra click to get to something that would be so basic and so necessary, such as flipping between music and movies. It used to be that the music and movies had their own navigational icons there, but now you have to click twice in order to get to them. All right, YouTube, thank you so much for watching this video on the new iTunes 12.5 preview along with Mac OS Sierra Beta 1. I'm Jake Chasen, and I'm signing off.